talk about your essay from the test and read me the question first so I can help you out. Did you have a very good? No, the question you chose to answer. Well, the character is it is the evening of the most often has been put ideas and do the correct way to avoid to living in the past. Yes, I did. Rarely listen to him and think of making me a beacon. Why do you think this is the case? What do you think he should do to overcome this? So you were to write a five paragraph essay. I was just reading the first paragraph and I think you could add a little bit more. So tell me what you would change in the first paragraph. Remember, what do you have to have in the introduction? And what is the essential phrase that would have to be there? Hmm? The thesis, yes. For you to summarize everything in one little sentence, that's going to be the thesis of your essay. So the focus of the essay is going to be really in the last <laughs> sentence in the introduction. So just read me what you first wrote so we can work on the introduction. That's okay. Rarely listen to me and figure me do that. So if you take this first sentence here, um, out of all the characters, Piggy is kind of awkward here. It's her most. Now, what would you change here? And all of your attendance and all of your what is a better way of saying <laughs> what you want to say here? That he has useful ideas. Piggy is the. the. Okay, let's get it. You can write that. Is the, the is the one is the one with the most is the one with the most. And when you read it, you will say so. So the most. Go ahead and read it now. Out of all the characters, Piggy is the one with the most useful ideas and see the correct way. So the boy started with this. This is for Max. One with the most useful ideas and see is the correct way for the boys to organize themselves. Now here, you're going to get into the thesis. Why you think this is correct? Why do you think Piggy is correct? has the most useful ideas, so you can get in there. Yet, you added yet, the boys continue. Rarely, and frequently abuse him. Here's where the thesis is going to go, because you have to focus now on what, you're gonna, what your body is going to look like, what you're going to be talking about, the body. So rarely listen to him and frequently abuse him because... Okay, go ahead and write that. Because he doesn't stand up for himself. Right. So we can still work on this. It's not a lesson. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, so this is sounding even better. Yet the boys rarely listen to him and frequently abuse him because he doesn't stand up for himself. Now you are getting. This is going to be 
the pieces you are going to prove down below in the body. So if you think about um, the five paragraph, and I really do not like the five paragraph, but that's how it is. Um, the core standards, they want you to have the five paragraph when you're taking your SATs, when you're taking your KC, or taking the STAR exams, they want you to have a five paragraph essay. It's, it's a formula, really. So you have the introduction, which you do here. And the introduction has what? As the one thesis with the three points you are going to be talking about, right? And that's where the body gets into. So have body one, body two, and body three. Even the essay sheet is laid out like that. So, so you do have the thesis, which you just uh, wrote here. And what you're going to discuss in the first paragraph of the body is, go ahead and read what you wrote. The boys don't listen to TV because they don't take him serious. They are always serious. Let's stop here. Serious. They don't take him serious. Is there a better way of using that word? Serious? Seriously. So when you are writing your essay, really need to reread it a couple of times because this is not how we would say it. They don't take it seriously, yes. So, I just want to talk about this for you, Juana. This is how we write the word Juana. I mean, when we're talking, sometimes, exactly, we're abbreviating. So, uh, what is what are the two words that's made up? Okay. They are always worrying yeah, about way, each other. That way, that you know what I'm going to tell. Want to? Please fix it. That is a no-no. You cannot be casual when you're writing an essay. I have to say, the points will repeat. <laughs> um, and it's just not that. It's just, you want to put down the correct words. We can't just write what we're speaking most of the time. So that's just a so lot. Yeah, what? Okay, so as long as you're aware that the way you speak is not sometimes accepted when you're writing it, so that they don't want to pay any attention to him. So, period. And then he goes, as if he doesn't exist, this is just a fragment. It has no place here. You've already said that. So you're repeating yourself. So we do not want that. Can you erase that one? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. That's okay. And so they push him off to the side they don't, and they don't hear him out. That's cool. The boys are too busy. You want to say too a lot, yes? Is that the correct spelling? No, it is an okay word to use, but is this the correct spelling? Do you write it this way? The word two? Two O's, yes. So again, those are little things, but if somebody's reading uh, your paper, uh, they might think you just rushed through this and you just handed it over. They push them off to the side and they don't hear. Is this a good way of, is this what you want to say here, yeah. to prove your first thesis? The, the point of the thesis are, the boys are too busy playing around, or, 
No, you're you're saying something also. Another point. So how would you say that? Another. Let's let's read what you wrote. They frequently abuse him because they know he. Okay. So really, does this belong in the first body, or is this the second point so you're making? This is why they don't listen to me, why they abuse him. Okay, the first part was about lis not listening to him, and the second part is about abusing him. Okay, so we need to find a transition word here, so we are getting to the second paragraph. Another way... Another way does it sound good to you? Another way? So they know that you use him. He won't do it. Okay, that's a good one. Oh, she did that. That's, that's usually what we instruct the students. Uh, how the essay would look like. So you actually have good, good points you're making. It's just the delivery and spelling mistakes. And for that, we might have to use the dictionary when you're writing, and that's fine with me. Uh, after you need to take your test, and if you feel you need the dictionary to finish up your essay, I would really encourage you to use it instead of just putting in random words and not knowing how they're spelled. Okay, so if you were to tell them, then. They wouldn't push him around like they do. So you are saying, you're kind of persuading us that if he did something, this, his situation might change, right? You're addressing the second part of the question. What do you think he should do to overcome this? Which is right. If he was to retaliate, pretty much put them in their place. Okay, so that's... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 